So it is my great honor to uh, introduce Congressman Raskin. And, um, you know, Congressman Raskin has been an ally of our movement, has championed our movement, supported many major pieces of legislation to address the climate crisis, and stood up to climate-denying colleagues on the other side of the aisle. Um, he has been key in putting together the largest piece of climate legislation ever to pass Congress, um, and works tirelessly to put Kamala Harris and Tim Walz in the White House. We are incredibly lucky to have him in Congress, and we are incredibly lucky to have him here today. Please join me in welcoming Congressman Raskin. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, you guys. Um, hello, Climate Council. Uh, what a thrill to be with you guys. I was just thinking we're all here as true blue Democrats, but I thought I would start my brief remarks on a bipartisan note by invoking our last great Republican president, Abraham Lincoln, who, um, who spoke of government of the people, by the people, and for the people, you know? And if we had that, uh, we'd be able to confront the climate crisis in a far more effective way. Um, I don't know if you read this book by Jared Diamond called Collapse, but he studied the the history of civilizations collapsing. And one of the key signs of collapsing in a civilization is that you get a small sector, a special interest within a society which captures power over everybody else and then operates in its own interests against the interests of the entire society. And that's where we've come with big gas and big oil and big coal. They're operating in their own interests and not in the interests of the whole American society. So uh, Donald Trump is their loyal, faithful servant. Um, and, you know, he tweeted out, climate change is a hoax perpetrated on the American people by China. I tweeted back, no, Donald Trump is a hoax perpetrated on the American people by Russia. Uh, <laughs> climate change is real. You know how you can tell it's real? They're not denying it so much anymore. They just don't want to talk about it, right? They just don't want to mention it. Record drought, record forest fires, record ocean rise. All over the world, record levels of climate refugees all over the world. There's mosquitoes in the North Pole this summer. The hottest year on record last year. The hottest year on record before that, the year before that. The hottest record, uh, the hottest year on record before that, the one before that. You get the picture. This year will be the hottest year on record when we get to next year. And yet, we're up against the whole corporate bureaucracy of denial. And the Republican Party, which now operates, of course, like an authoritarian cult of personality, continues to serve the interests of big gas and big oil in denying the reality of where we are. Therefore, we need to defeat all of the authoritarians, the autocrats in Moscow. We got to defeat the kleptocrats and the plutocrats in Mar-a-Lago. We got to defeat the theocrats in MAGA. And who's going to do it? The Democrats are going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to stand for the people. You know, sometimes... All right, I'll tell one more story. I didn't realize that. Okay, I'm on a strict time limit here. I'm operating on sleep deprivation, okay? So, but I, I just, sometimes they cannot correctly pronounce the name of our party in its adjectival form. You know, I, I'll be up there. I was there with Lauren Doney. You can look this one up on YouTube. And, you know, they'll hear Nancy Pelosi speak Okay, 
Okay, so the, the Okay. Um you know what? You know what? If you want to address any problem in America around the world, the Democrats are going to do it. Okay? Not not, not Robert Kennedy, not Donald Trump. You know, if you want to if, if, go You know what? If you want to show some political courage, go and interrupt one of Donald Trump's rallies, all right? Because uh, we're right here, we're organizing against Trump. We're organizing against the reactionary autocrats, plutocrats, and kleptocrats. Anybody who interferes with that is objectively helping Donald Trump and Tim Walls. So cut it out. Just cut it out. Anyway, I, I just, I'll close with this thought. They, they can't pronounce the name of our party in its adjectival form. It's always that Democrat congresswoman and that Democrat bill. And for seven years I sat there and I said, you know what? Democrat is the noun, okay? Democratic is the adjective. You gotta, you, you gotta say the Democratic congresswoman or the Democratic bill or the Democratic amendment. And so I got mad at Lauren Boebert that day. And I said, you know, you guys have this self-created, self-imposed political speech impediment when it comes to our party. And now it's contagious. It's coming over to my side. Now whenever I try to say the name of your party, it just comes out the Banana Republican Party and the Banana Republican Congresswoman. And so... Uh, I went home and I told my wife, I said, I finally got them back after seven years. I was very proud of myself. You know what she said? She said, that was an extremely immature response. And so, so luckily I was reading this great book by H.W. Brands, the University of Texas historian about Franklin Roosevelt. I learned something remarkable from that book. FDR did not call our party the Democratic Party, much less the Democrat Party. He called our party with a capital D, check it out, the democracy, the democracy, okay? He used to say the economic royalists and the plutocrats say you invest in the wealthiest people in America and then some of the wealth will just dribble down magically on everybody else. But the democracy, the democracy party, he said, say, says you invest in the great American working middle class, and then we will all rise and prosper together. That's the doctrine of the democracy, said Roosevelt. So the democracy is going to save us from authoritarians and the autocrats and the plutocrats and the petrocrats, and it's going to save us from climate change. Democracy, government of, by, and for the people. Thank you very much. Thank you.